Today, I'm just getting ready, but today we are actually going for a private scan. Um, we're going for a gender scan, specifically. Um, so I am just straightening my hair and then I'm going to get ready myself and then uh, I need to get Max ready, Harry needs to get ready, we've got to get his bag ready, make sure we get out the door on time because it takes forever to get out of the house sometimes so um but yeah really really excited and then tomorrow we've got some family come in so we're gonna do a little gender reveal to them so yeah we're gonna find out today um just us three in the room but my mum and dad are actually coming um to the scan to see baby for the first time as well um my mum and dad kindly paid for uh, like a package for us they did the same with max and the same with my sister's little boy um so yeah really really exciting brings back so many memories from like when i was pregnant with max and we went for our scan for the first time and i'm just looking here as well like max's um heartbeat bear that we got let me see if it, it should still work yeah um so yeah to think that we're gonna have another baby we're gonna have another heartbeat bear like it's really exciting so um yeah we're going to a place called uh hey baby um i want to say my mom said the package was 100 and 149 pound um so i believe it's two scans i need to check with my mum. um but i need to i need to do my hair while i'm talking um yeah i think so we've got the gender scan today and then i think we get a 4d scan at so many weeks i don't remember the amount of weeks you need to be um but yeah, today I am 16 weeks and six days. So hopefully they can find the gender easily. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm really excited. I think Harry's excited as well. Harry's pretty certain about what he thinks the gender is, um, but I'll let him tell you. <laughs> and um, I actually think boy, um, I think it's another boy. Um, people keep asking me you know what what would you prefer like what you know what's your preference sort of thing I honestly like from the bottom of my heart I have no preference um I'm already a boy mum so I would love to have another boy equally I would love to have a girl um I honestly from the bottom of my heart I'm just so grateful that I was able to get pregnant again and that I'm on this journey and having a baby <laughs> I'm having a second baby I'm just so like can't even explain how grateful I am that I was able to fall pregnant so um I, I mean it when I say I literally have no preference <laughs> um so yeah I will be ecstatic no matter what I just can't wait to start buying stuff I feel like this time around um we haven't we haven't bought a single thing for baby yet with Max obviously being our first we um we bought an outfit like the day I think it was like the day of the 12 week scan i think we bought his first outfit um and it was like a very gender neutral i think i've shown you but gender neutral uh baby grow outfit and it had like elephants on it it was just from primark um and we bought a lot of like uh white stuff beige stuff that sort of stuff so um and we was quite happy to do that but i said to harry this time around it feels different like if it's a girl obviously i want to go and buy like pinks and purples and yellows and whatever and if it's a boy like i want him to have color as well so greens and blues and i quite like beiges and stuff like that but i don't really want to buy loads and loads of white stuff so we've just not bought anything um so once we find out today just the three of us um we are going to go and buy a baby's first outfit and then yeah tomorrow everyone else will find out what we're having can't believe like in a few hours time we're gonna know exactly if we're gonna have two boys or if we're gonna have a boy and a girl um yeah my family all um they've all got different obviously opinions but i am actually gonna record them tomorrow so you guys can see their uh what they think their predictions are right before we do the um the gender reveal so yeah really really excited so yeah i thought i would bring you along as much as i can with us um yeah it's really exciting 
I'm not entirely sure how much I'm gonna be able to film obviously I want to enjoy the moment with Harry and with Max as well um so I might be able to just prop my phone somewhere and um then we can just enjoy the moment and you guys can see and I can chat to you guys after so but yeah really really exciting I don't know what to wear either is that weird I don't know I think tomorrow I'm gonna wear a white dress um just like a white flowy dress um but today I'm not really sure and it is going to be nice all weekend as well Harry's currently setting up his barbecue because he's just bought a barbecue so we're going to have a barbecue tomorrow as well so yeah it's really really exciting really happy times so yeah I better get a move on because Harry's going to be wondering what I'm doing and where I am <laughs> What do you think the gender of the baby, baby number two, is going to be? It's a boy. 100%? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we've just arrived. We are 15 minutes late, so I'm not going to mess around. <laughs> Say hi, Daddy. Bloody 15 minutes late. Oh, whatever. What time do you call this? Come on, Any Pika. Mess? Hi, Max. Shoes. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you fell asleep actually. <laughs> what is it? That's definitely a girl, that is. That's definitely a girl, Rihanna. That heartbeat is definitely a girl. shocking uh, display of items <laughs> um, and I did try a HM as well but a lot of it's like summer stuff and obviously babies due January so yeah not really ideal um, so we didn't actually end up getting anything we didn't actually end up getting anything for baby unfortunately um, so that was the first thing and then Harry had to sort out something for his phone and then we had to sort out like a food shop and some bits for barbecue today so um we didn't get back until quite late and then oh, yeah we was just doing tidying and cleaning and it was a bit all over the place but we know the gender of the baby um we are ecstatic like over the moon um i was very emotional last night like i think once the day had been done me and harry were sitting on the sofa very very emotional I think I was tired from the whole day 
I hadn't felt well because I'd been quite sick as well. Um, but also just like so overwhelmed with like love and joy and just, yeah. So um, very, very emotional last night. Um, but I feel a lot better this morning. I do feel a bit sick again, but I haven't been sick, so that's something. Um, and obviously we've got family coming today, some family coming today, so yeah, that, I'm looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, we bought uh, a heartbeat there, so we've got baby's heartbeat, and we've also bought a large cannon, uh, which is the same with, as what we did with Max. Um, and we're going to do the cannon today when the family comes. So um, we literally found out the exact same way with Max as well. So um, yeah. <laughs> We literally found out, me and Harry in the room, my mum and dad left, they saw baby at the beginning, saw baby Max at the beginning, and then they left and we found out the gender and then we did the canon afterwards. Um, and obviously this time around we've done it, me, Harry and Max find out the gender, and then obviously my mum and dad left, um, sorry, my mum and dad left and then we found out the gender, and then, yeah, today we're doing the actual reveal. So, um, I'm just straightening my hair, Max is down for a nap, Harry is sorting out the barbecue, I do need to go to Tesco's and get some butter and I think onions as well. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd straighten my hair and just give you guys an update. The clips might be sort of a little bit back to front because obviously I want you guys to find out at the end of the video. So um, yeah, really, really nice. Obviously having that moment just the three of us um, and finding out what baby number two is. So yeah, really, I'm just, yeah, over the moon. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready and go to Tesco's. Well, while I'm quickly doing this as well, I thought I'd just talk about my experience with Hey Baby. Um, so we was actually 15 minutes late yesterday and my mum and dad were already there, but obviously where I was very long, I just ugh, couldn't get out of the house basically. So um, uh, my mum literally just like said to them like, because she's supposed to arrive like five minutes early to your appointment and mum said to them like she's throwing up like well, she's been throwing up they've left but she's going to be late um, and they were so lovely about it they were like it's fine we can just swap someone around and i think someone who was supposed to be after me was there early so they went first and then by the time we got there they had come out and it was our turn so um, and even when the woman came out she was like you feeling better and i was just like oh. it was like such a relief and i was so worried that because we were going to be late that potentially they weren't going to do the scan or they wouldn't be able to fit us in um but they were so lovely and then the um lady that did my ultrasound she was really nice as well i actually forgot my tripod in the car and the woman was like oh i can do it for you i can like hold the phone and call to, like when you find out and um yeah that was really nice so i think my mum said the package was 145 i think i said 149 yesterday but 145 um, and yesterday we got obviously our gender scan, wellbeing check, and we got a photo. Um, and then you have to pay separately for like add-ons. So the heartbeat bear was I think thirty pound, Harry said, and the Canon was sixteen, I want to say. Um, so there was that. But then also included in the package is the four uh, D scan, which is booked for like October time, um, and you get photos and like videos like included with that so yeah uh, overall like really nice experience it's a really nice little like um place that they've got and they've got like all i think you'll see from all our clips like all um like, baby clothes and like teethers and um announcement um what are they called like announcement wooden plaque things um so there's like loads of bits that you can like buy there and obviously the heartbeat bears and stuff like that so um really nice i'd say the only thing i'd say the only like thing that we just wasn't too keen on was the actual photo that it gave us um so it wasn't it's a photo of like the baby's head by the looks of it like the top of their head i'm not entirely sure um we was sort of hoping for an actual photo of baby sort of like side by side but they did also give us a um like 4D sneak peek. Um, obviously, baby is like quite skinny; doesn't really have a lot of fat. Like I said at this point, so um, it's quite hard to like make out features and stuff like that because they're so skinny. Um, but 
yeah, that was quite nice as well. So other than that, like it was a really, really nice experience. It feels like it's going to be a really, really hot day today. And I've decided I'm going to wear a white dress. So, I mean, I never know why I wear white around, excuse me, around Maximus because his hands get so dirty. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much done. I mean, I don't really wear makeup anymore, so, um, I don't think I'm gonna bother, especially because it's gonna be hot today as well. Um, so yeah, I am gonna get dressed and go to Tesco's. Right, so I'm just boiling some corn because that's gonna go in the barbecue. I've got the bun. I've got I've got buns there, butter, pasta sauces that I need to sort out. I've got me pasta going slowly, but surely, and Harry's sorting the barbecue. Should have got paper plates, I forgot when I was at Tesco's, but yeah, it is what it is. Oh look, there's the barbecue man. <laughs> right, Alfie, do you think it's a boy or a gal? Um, I think it will be a gal. Gal. Yeah. Right, do you think boy or gal? I think it's a boy, but I really hope it's a gal. <laughs> <laughs> right, do you think it's a boy or a gal? I'm saying gal. Yeah. Oh, you've got to do this to me, Brianna, because I've been the whole time in the car, I'm going to everybody on my oh, God, I don't know what to get. What do you, what do you okay. think? Girl. I said girl. I think, yes. I, I think it's, oh, I really think it's a girl. Okay, I'm going to say girl. Okay. But it's only, I'll be honest with you, it's because Dad said girl and he's been right so far with every single oh, baby. Right. So I'm going with girl, but, oh, I'm just going to say girl. Kai, Kai, what do you that. think? Kai said boy or girl? Kai Kai, look, okay. at, look at Auntie Annie. Look, Cody. Do you think it's a boy or a girl? A girl. A girl. Okay, there you go. He's so cute. It's your guess. All right, now let's go and get Grandad. We already know what he thinks, but. 95% is a girl. Okay, girl. What's your prediction for baby number two? Let me, let me grab it. Let me grab it, baby. baby number two is a girl. A girl. Sure. Okay. Oh god. Ready? Up, up. Don't up, up, us. up. Don't do up, it. Up, do it, do it, do it!